What's up, Pandas? Peter from Panda here. Hey, I just bought this new eSeco iPhone 7 Plus wallet case in dark blue and uh, kind of like this tan khaki leather portion here. As I open it up and really take a look at it for the first time, I want to show it to you because it really looked, um, kind of looks snazzy, dude. I mean, I just wanted to check it out because I like the high style, high fashion because I'm kind of a fashion icon. Whether you like it or not, EC Go right there branded on the bottom and uh, just really kind of a cool looking thing. Now I have an iPhone 6 Plus here. Obviously this one is is meant for the iPhone 7 Plus as it says right there. So just keep in mind that uh, form factor wise the 6 Plus is exactly the same except the camera piece is a little bit different and obviously the, the ports on the bottom are a little bit different but size wise total overall size wise it's the same so i thought i would just give you a little walk through of this uh the 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 fabric here is not denim i mean it kind of maybe looks like that on the screen here but it's like a um it's like this blue and black threaded uh it's a really nice looking and i don't know it's a really tight weave i don't know it kind of feels like a poly blend um this part down here i don't know if it's leather it certainly seems like it could be or it's a very good synthetic leather uh, and I just like the, the fact that you've got this blue and tan, kind of like uh, Southwest Airlines seats. And tan colored stitching all the way around. You've got a cutout here for the front uh, speaker of your iPhone. And then you have a closure right here, which is magnetic. Look at that. So I, uh, you can pull it, you can force it apart, but I can feel it not only coming together, but snap and shut. So there's probably a magnet in here and a piece of metal in there, um, and that helps keep it closed and keeps the thing from opening inadvertently. So you can just pull it open, and then we have some pockets. You've got a pretty nice full length pocket here. You've got a windowed pocket right here, so pr presumably for your ID, maybe your uh, office uh, ID or something like that. You have some additional pockets, business cards, credit cards, whatever it may be. Looks like there's a little problem with the perforation, not all the way cut through. Um, but uh, you have one, two, three pockets, one with a window there. And you've got this kind of cool pattern printed on the inside of like a, uh, a tan off white, which is nice. I like those details, you know? It's pretty nice looking. Then you have foam inside what generally would be kind of like a slim, kind of your standard, you know, case, slipover case for an iPhone. This one's black and it's a soft. It's, it's, it's rigid, but it's not like a hard case, right? So it's, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a rubbery texture. The back here appears to have like a, it's not microfiber. Man, I, I, I should have done more material sciences or something in school. But it's like a, uh, it's kind of like a matte finish, but flexible material. Not microfiber, but kind of like a, I don't know, like, Kind of the finish on the outside of TV remote controls. Does that seem crazy? But cutouts all the way around for the iPhone 7 with the two big speaker grills. Cut out for power, volume, and, and silent, and then nothing on the top. Now I'm gonna put this pop this 6 Plus in here uh, because I want to show you the, the last feature. And as you can see here, as I pivot this down, you can see that there is a crease right there. And obviously a bigger cutout for the dual cameras of the iPhone 7 Plus, but certainly seems like if you have a 6 Plus, it'll work because uh, there's additional cutout there. And But as you can see here, you've got this kick out so that you can use this as a stand. Now, you do a long commute on a train, on planes, uh, you do some traveling, you watch things at work, I don't know. Um, you know, you can put it on your lap, but you could actually work on this with a Bluetooth keyboard. You could watch videos, uh, watch your podcast. It's just pretty cool because now I could close it. Um, I could actually listen to something through the speaker cut out here and then just rip this sucker open and set it up for, uh, you know, my own viewing or reading pleasure. Certainly a lot easier than kind of holding it up. In fact, if you're like me, I'll probably lay in bed, prop this sucker up on my fat belly and then just watch YouTube videos of all my favorite YouTubers like Peter Von Panda or Von Panda or Peter Panda or other Panda videos. So anyway, EC Go uh, uh, iPhone 7 wallet case. This one's in dark blue. Really nice. I, I totally dig it. 
obviously works for the iPhone 6 Plus as well, but meant for the 7 Plus. Uh, so, um, you know, if you've got a 7 Plus I think, and trying to dress it up, I think this would work really, really well. Now, the last thing I will say is that this eSeco case is going to go out to one of you viewers. So, go ahead uh, and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then comment below with any comment that you like, but put the country that you live in in the comment, somewhere in the comment, and uh, because that's going to help me verify that once I pick one random commenter, uh, I'm going to have to verify that you live in the United States or Canada because that's the only place I can afford to ship it to. So that's the only place that's going to be open to at the moment. So just write your comment like Peter Von Panda, you suck, USA, or whatever you want to do, or Vancouver, which I love, beautiful place. Um, and then uh, a week from the Saturday, I will pick one of the random commenters and reach out to you so that... I can get this out to you so that your iPhone 7 Plus can be as pampered as mine is. Peter Von Panda with my eSeco case out.